Okay, guys, I'm back here with part two of my latest eBay items. If you guys haven't watched part one, please do so, because I've gone through these four items over here. And I, I got through these four items over here. Now, just as a recap, these four items are from the same seller, and then these four items are from a different seller, but these four items are all from the same seller. So two different sellers so far, practically. Now, my next item, and I'm extremely excited about, because this is an extremely rare item, but before I show you, I must tell you something. Um, I'm going in the order that I received these. So, for example, I received these four items first. These four items second. And then this item also came on the same day, but just separately because it was from a different seller. It is a German milk tanker, or milch tanker. Just take a look at it here. I mean, this is an extremely rare item. Um, I got off of eBay, of course, because this is practically, I mean, the only place you could really find it. Um... I got this for um, $13, not kidding, uh, buy it now. I've probably been watching this item for about a year now, and I was just waiting for it to go on sale. Um, and so I decided really, you know, since I'm buying all of these, you know, other items, I just to buy it right now as well. Um, one thing you need to point out here as I zoom in is made by Bondi, and obviously Bondi doesn't make wooden trains anymore. So that also makes it pretty rare. And as I show you this, see, look at the thing at the top here. It looks like it's never been cut out. See, look, I'll go back over here. Um, you see the thing that's cut out, you know, to hang on a rack or something. But, um, you know, this one hasn't been. So just take a look here at the tankers. Um, yeah, really, um, you know, obvious differences. They're spelled different. And this one actually says Tidmouth milk. But this one only says milk or milch or however you say that in German. So, um, obviously, if you hadn't noticed before, this is all in German. Thomas, I'm assuming this says Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, or something like that. Maybe, um, these two words mean friends or something like that. And then it just has all this other German. So I did get greedy and I opened this, but, I, um, it's, like, barbed, it's, like, connected in there. Hold on, let me try to get a better angle here. You see that white thing in the back there? That's it. I meant strapping the back wheels in. So I didn't actually take the thing, the milk wagon, as it says right there, out of the box. But I took the pamphlet out. Oops, and looked at it. And it's all in German. I mean, I couldn't even tell what year it was from. But I mean, it has a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, it's sticking in. It's sticking in the back here where my thumb is. You see this area right there? It's back there. I don't know why it's so dark. Oh well. And then on the back here, it says Milk Wagon. It has all that stuff in German. So if anybody would like to translate, please do so. I would be thrilled to hear what that says. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Probably one of my um, rarest items I've ever gotten. Um, so, yeah, I'll go on to my next item, though, because I don't want to have a very long video. So my next item here is a 1997 James. And I got this for about 10 uh, actually $11.00. And so, um, yeah, pretty rare. Uh, painted coal, which I love, and a wooden funnel. Now, the original reason I got this is so I could use the painted coal tender in my J in my for my other James, which is like from 1999. I was just gonna plan on using the tender because the pictures that they showed on the eBay site um, didn't show the James in really good condition. But I'm surprised James is in better condition than I thought. It's used. But, I mean, the only real damage, as you can see, they're up on the top there, is with the wooden funnel. But there's really nothing else. So, I'm proud to announce that this will be the James that you see in my series. Um, so, you guys can say goodbye to my other James. Um, you probably won't be seeing him ever again. Maybe. You never know. But, um, you guys can watch my intro. Um, and see him for probably the, probably the last time. You may see him. Yeah, actually, you might see him in my first episodes. But, that's pretty much it. And like I said, 1999, he has no main name on the bottom. So my next item here is a towed brake van from 1999. And uh, I was really excited about this. I got this for $21 a buy it now. I've probably been looking at this one for about two years because I've always been wanting an old style toad. Because, you know, these toads are notorious for being for learning curve making the mistake of um putting the mac magnets backwards and i think i j i just i would just love one of those unfortunately toads from 1999 was when learning curve i guess you know wised up or something so toad does couple backwards and i was really disappointed by that because the only reason i really did get this toad is because of the air 
you know, sort of like my White Roof Rusty. The only reason I got that is because, I mean, it had an air. You know, it's just different from my other Rusty. And so, unfortunately, well, that was kind of bad. But, um, Toad is in great condition, which is good. He has a little smudge on his face, but that's fine. I'm still debating whether to use this Toad in my series or my other Toad. Just still thinking about that. Um, probably make a decision soon. So, I'll go on to my next item. And this is a 1999 Donald. New in packaging, or new in box, NIB. Um, let's see here. I'm just kind of looking at it. No name on the bottom or anything. Um, it has painted coal because 1999 was the first year that they used, uh, sorry, not painted coal, real coal. Um, Donald is there, and I look through the packaging, you know, it's pretty easy to look through the packaging and tell the date, and it does say 1999. I assume it has a character card and a pamphlet and all that, but I'm not going to open the box. Um, like, talking about the box, um, it's a little bit damaged, as you can say, taking a look here, but that's just fine, and, um, so yeah, pretty much... And that's pretty cool. This is also staying in the packaging, so don't ask about it. And then this is my final item here. This is a uh, 1999 Clarabelle. Now, there's an interesting story behind this. Um, I was actually bidding from, like, uh, this. there was this one user on eBay. I forgot um, his or her name. But the user was posting about, like, seven auctions on really, really rare items, like 1996. Scar the, there was, like, a 1996 Scarlowe, a 1997 Express Coach, a 1997 Gordon, um, like a 1996 Scruffy, and it was so cool, and like, I bid on all of them. Um, I know some users from YouTube get, did get those items, and unfortunately a user, I think his name was Thomas Wooden 123 he posted a video about those items, so then it let everybody else on YouTube know that they were there. And no offense to Thomas Wooden 123 who did this, you know, that, that was his fine, but I mean, seriously, if... I mean, if he hadn't posted the video, I probably would have gotten those other items. But the only one I managed to hang on to, because the other prices got too high, was Clarabelle. And I know there's a Clarabelle over here, so you're probably asking, you know, why'd you get that Clarabelle? Well, obviously, they're different. And this is um, an older version. So, technically, if my Clarabelle had come correctly, it would have been a Terrence. But if still, this is what it should have looked like. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it, as you just take a look at that, bring this back over here. This is going to stay in the packaging. I look through the packaging, and on the wheels, this is dated 2000. So, a little conspiracy there. This obviously comes with a pamphlet, and I assume character card. Um, no name on the bottom either. And so, before I go, guys, I have two other items that I want to show you that I didn't get off of eBay, but I found at Target. It's um, like a Walmart, if you want to call it. And it's these two items right over here, Scruffy and Duke. Now, these two items are staying in the box, um, in their boxes, I should say. Um, as you guys know, I already I have a new style Scruffy, and I used it in my remakes. Well, in it, one remake, I should say. Um, but, you know, it says right here, available for a limited time only. And I thought they only made Scruffy in 2006, because that was when he was reissued. But I figured one day they're going to stop making scruffing and he's going to become pretty rare. So I decided to get him. And then along with the new style Duke. So, um, yeah. Pretty cool. Both are staying in their packagings. There's Duke. Um, both are dated 2009. They have like the new style packaging. If you guys hadn't noticed, Learning Curve did change their style packaging. As you can tell, it has like a stripe down right here. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys those. So, one thing, more thing before I go, if I, sh I have showed you any items in the box, they are staying in the box, which is pretty much everything, except these two. Um, don't ask me to do Thomas Wynn Railway discussions on them, because practically I just showed you them right here. But um, I hope you guys have liked all my items, and uh, thanks for watching.